Joining us now is game day football analyst Lo Neal. And Lo, um, in Mullen's defense, at the beginning of the game, his fumble, he had a little over two seconds to throw that football. If a quarterback gets hit that early in a football game, does it uh, impact his psyche, his confidence in the O-line the rest of the game? Dennis, that's a great question because I think it does on some particular quarterbacks. Maybe a younger quarterback, a guy has not necessarily a seasoned veteran in this league, but you got to have thick skin. I mean, you play running back. How many times do you see a, a guy miss a block and the running back gets hit in the backfield? Quarterbacks got to hold onto the ball. They get paid a lot of money to hold onto the ball. And Mullins, it does seem like it affects him because he was in a funk early in that game, but he started to get it going later on. But it does seem like it affects certain individuals. I think uh, Kyle Shanahan hit it right. Right on the money, low earlier this week when he said, you don't want a backup quarterback on the field that long because eventually you see why he's a backup quarterback. That being said, Jimmy's propensity to get injured. Should the 49ers be looking for a new backup quarterback in 2021? Well, Dennis, I, I think today you got to see, without a doubt, I think the San Francisco 49ers are going to have to move on from Nick Mullins as a backup. And I like Nick, and you see the kind of guy he can be at times. He can show you sparks and show you that he can play at a high level. But then he's going to give you those two or three bad plays a game. And you saw that today. Think about it, Dennis. The last two weeks, you gave up 17 last week, 24 in turnovers this week. I mean, is it going to be 30 the next week? So think about what's going on with this team turnovers have been losing these games and your quarterback it starts with him unfortunately low a lot of people on social media got excited about cj bethard you and i both know that was garbage time <laughs> it was um, enticing in some respects if you're the head coach right now on game day do you start uh, cj the last couple of games Without a doubt, if I'm the head coach right now, Dennis, I look at CJ and I look at Mullins and I say, you know what, Did was I fair? Did I ride it till we're out of the playoffs? The, not, the 49ers are out of the playoffs now. You went with Mullins because, because he was the best quarterback for the job. And now since you're out of the playoffs, you got to give CJ Beathard the opportunity to come in and play. And I would be very, very shocked if Cal Shanahan didn't turn over the keys and said, look, I'm going to give you an opportunity because like we and you were talking about, Dennis, and just like all the 49ers fans, the quarterback position they are probably going to go in a new direction for, on both of these backups next year. Hey Kalo, uh, I'm playing the Grinch tonight but I have not uh, received your Christmas present yet. Uh, it's a, in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's in the mail. It's in the mail, Dennis. You'll get it for sure. You're the best. <laughs> it's always in the mail. Hey, uh, Lo, thanks. Uh, have a great uh, Christmas and happy holiday. You as well. You're the best.